Beneath this forgotten crater lies $4 trillion worth of a rare metal the world is desperate for, and almost no one saw it coming. To most people, this place looks like nothing, just another stretch of desert on the Nevada-Oregon border. But looks can be deceiving. Millions of years ago, this was ground zero for one of the most violent volcanic eruptions in Earth's history. It carved out a massive scar in the land and left behind a secret no one understood until recently. That secret, lithium, the metal that powers electric cars, smartphones, and the clean energy revolution. And here, buried under the ashes of an ancient supervolcano, lies more of it than anywhere else on the planet. For the United States, it could be a game changer, a chance to break free from foreign supply chains and dominate the future of energy. For global rivals, it's a threat. For environmentalists and indigenous communities, it's a nightmare waiting to unfold. So how did a prehistoric eruption turn into the center of a modern energy war? And what will it take to dig this treasure out of the earth? 17 million years ago, the calm desert floor was anything but peaceful. Deep beneath what is now the Nevada-Oregon border, molten rock built up under crushing pressure until it finally erupted with a force almost beyond imagination. This wasn't a normal volcano, it was a super volcano, a blast so massive it hurled thousands of cubic kilometers of ash across North America. Whole landscapes were buried, skies darkened. The eruption permanently altered the continent. When the magma chamber emptied, the ground above collapsed in on itself, leaving behind a vast crater stretching dozens of kilometers across. Over time, lava flows, ash, and sediment layered over this scar, creating what we now call the McDermott Caldera. To most, it looks like just another dry basin, but hidden in these layers of rock and clay was the beginning of a story no one would fully understand until millions of years later. After that cataclysmic eruption, the McDermott Caldera eventually went silent. For millions of years, the region showed no signs of volcanic life. No rising magma, no toxic gases, no swarms of earthquakes. In geologic terms, the caldera was declared extinct. As the Earth's crust drifted eastward, the Yellowstone hotspot left McDermott behind, carving out a trail of younger calderas that stretched across Idaho and Wyoming, ending in what we now know as Yellowstone National Park. McDermott, by contrast, became a sleeping giant, a vast crater weathered and quiet, blending into the desert around it. But while the surface lay still, deep within its layers, something far more valuable than fire had been forming. In recent decades, geologists began looking at McDermott not as a volcano, but as a puzzle. Beneath the hardened ash and clay, they discovered something remarkable. Layers of lithium-rich claystone locked away for millions of years. Unlike typical deposits found in salt flats or hard rock, this was different. The ancient volcanic eruption, combined with hydrothermal fluids, had created a natural trap. Over time, lithium was pulled from the volcanic rock and concentrated into dense seams of clay, a kind of geological sponge soaking up the metal. What they uncovered shocked the scientific community. Estimates suggest the McDermott caldera could hold 20 to 40 million tons of lithium. Some projections push that number as high as 120 million tons, more than anywhere else on Earth. At today's prices, that's a discovery worth over $4 trillion, enough to power not just millions, but potentially hundreds of millions of electric vehicles. And within this giant caldera, one site stood out as the most promising, Thacker Pass. At the southern edge of the caldera sits Thacker Pass, the site now at the center of America's lithium ambitions. Geological surveys suggest this single location could produce nearly 14 million tons of lithium carbonate equivalent, one of the richest concentrations ever recorded. To tap into it, Lithium Americas launched the Thacker Pass Project, an open pit mining operation designed to produce up to 60,000 tons of battery grade lithium every year. That's enough to power more than a million electric vehicles annually. Auto giants took notice. General Motors invested $650 million, betting on this desert crater to fuel their next generation of cars. And the U.S. government has already flagged Thacker Pass as a strategic asset in its clean energy plans, hoping to reduce dependence on foreign suppliers. But this isn't a simple drilling project. Extracting lithium from clay is tricky. The process requires tearing away layers of earth, crushing the material, and using sulfuric acid leaching to pull the lithium out. 
To make it work, the project will also need an acid plant on site, waste storage facilities, and massive water supplies, all in one of the driest ecosystems in North America. To supporters, this is the cost of progress. To critics, it's a disaster waiting to happen. If successful, Thacker Pass could do more than power cars. It could reshape America's place in the global energy race. Today, the majority of lithium comes from South America, Australia, and China. But with McDermott's reserves, the United States could suddenly leap to the front of the supply chain. Economists estimate the deposit's value at over $4 trillion. Tapping into it could create thousands of jobs in one of the country's most remote regions, while fueling growth in industries like battery production and electric vehicles. For Washington, it's about more than economics. It's about security. A stable domestic supply of lithium could reduce dependence on rival nations and give the U.S. leverage in the clean tech future. In other words, a once forgotten volcanic scar could become the foundation of America's next industrial revolution. But the promise of lithium comes with a heavy price. To reach the clay deposits, Thacker Pass would use large-scale open-pit mining, carving away entire layers of desert soil. The process demands sulfuric acid leaching, raising concerns about chemical spills, soil degradation, and contamination of fragile groundwater systems. Then there's water. Extracting and processing lithium at this scale requires enormous amounts of it in a region already struggling with drought. Critics warn that the project could permanently scar an ecosystem that has barely survived the pressures of modern development. Beyond the environment, there are human stakes. Indigenous communities consider Thacker Pass sacred ground. Tied to their history and identity, lawsuits and protests have erupted, accusing corporations and the government of pushing ahead without proper consultation. To some, this project represents progress. To others, it is yet another chapter in a long story of exploitation, where land and people are sacrificed in the name of industry. And the question remains, will the lithium here power a cleaner future or leave behind a legacy of destruction? For all its promise, the McDermott Caldera may be one of the most controversial mining projects in modern U.S. history. At the center is open pit mining, a process that strips away massive sections of Earth. The pit at Thacker Pass is projected to stretch for miles, visible from space, leaving behind a permanent scar on the desert. Once the clay is dug up, the real challenge begins, extraction. The lithium isn't locked in neat, hard rock veins or brine pools like in Chile or Australia. It's bound in fine-grained clays, which makes it harder and dirtier to process. The solution? Sulfuric acid leaching. This technique involves dousing the crushed clay with strong acid to dissolve the lithium. Effective, yes, but risky. Spills or leaks could seep into the soil, contaminating fragile aquifers that supply life to this desert ecosystem. And unlike other regions, Nevada's water is already in short supply. One accident here could ripple for decades. Environmental experts warn that the mine will consume billions of gallons of water over its lifespan. In a state where rivers are shrinking, reservoirs are drying, and entire communities are facing water restrictions that demand raises alarm bells. Some fear it could push already delicate ecosystems, from sagebrush to pronghorn antelope, past the point of recovery. But the risks aren't only environmental, they're cultural. For indigenous groups in the region, Thacker Pass is more than land, it's history. Oral accounts describe it as a site of violence during the 19th century, where ancestors were killed. To build an industrial mine here, they argue, isn't just development, it's desecration. Over the past few years, activists and tribal members have mounted resistance, lawsuits, protests, and encampments directly at the site. They argue that federal permits were rushed, consultations ignored, and treaties overlooked. Videos of confrontations between protesters and law enforcement have already spread online, drawing national attention. The battle lines are clear. On one side, promises of clean energy, jobs, and independence. On the other, fears of cultural erasure, environmental collapse, and yet another example of industry steamrolling over local voices. And the truth is, neither side is entirely wrong. The lithium here could help drive the world away from fossil fuels. 
but extracting it could also leave behind an ecological and cultural wound that never heals. Thacker Pass is more than a mine. It's a test. A test of whether the U.S. can balance energy ambitions with responsibility to its land, its people, and its future. What do you think? Is the risk worth the reward? Let me know your thoughts in the comments.